Hey guys, this is Richard. Um, this is part four of my videos. The final part, we're going to be looking at creating listings, um, what you need to know, how you need to create your listing to make sure that it ranks higher, um, and some other best known methods for once you're starting to sell on Amazon, how to manage your customers and some other small bits and pieces. So let's get to it. Okay, so once you've got your, let's say you've got your Amazon account open, you're in Seller Central, um, you'll then need to create a listing for your products. When you create your listing for your products, it will look very similar to, um, to the listings that you can see here. So you'll go to create a new product and you'll have to provide a bunch of information on your product. You'll need things like um, pictures. So product image is the, the most important thing that you'll need to provide for your product. So if we, if we just go back to Amazon, website and we do a search again for iPhone 11 case as you can see here we've got a bunch of products that have come up from the search results now when you're selling on Amazon you want to be you want your product to appear somewhere near the top here these four products that you see here that, that have sponsored written on them they are what, what are called um, pay-per-click products so these are advertised products where people, sellers are advertising their products on Amazon. They say, for example, okay, I've got a daily budget of £10 and I want my product to appear in, your, you know, in the sponsored advertisement space. And every time somebody clicks on it, Amazon will charge the seller a certain fee. And the seller can decide, so, okay, I'll, you know, the seller can say, I want to pay 10p every time somebody clicks on it. So if I if I was to now to click on this product, which I'm not going to, because it's going to cost this person some money. So if I was going to click on this product, it will charge the seller whatever fee they've agreed with Amazon. But it's a great way of getting your product at the front. Um, you want your product somewhere up here. Yeah. So products that are on the first page convert a lot better than products that are lower down. Um, products that are after page five tend to not sell, sell so good as products that are in page one to five. And obviously, if your product is on the first page, you'll be selling very, very well. And again, I'll make a separate video later on where I'm going to go through what you need to do when you're creating a listing to get your product ranked higher up in the search results and how to get them to the top of the search results and how to get into the best sellers categories. But for now, we're just going to briefly go over this. So as you can see here, all of these products also have things like um, product reviews. You can see their title and you can see their images. Image is the most important thing. Yeah, Image, because we've got so many similar cases here, the customer is going to choose the image that's going to stand out the most for the product that they search for. Yeah. So obviously for this, this case, it looks like most buyers are like this particular image or this type of an image. Um, the other thing you have to be very careful about is choosing a product title. That's the second thing that will captivate, that will get your buyer to click on it. Um, not just because they want to read the title and they'll say, oh, I like the way the title's put together, but because the Amazon search engine will use the words inside this title to, to get your product to appear in the search results. So it's a very important thing. You have to put keywords in there. And again, I'll go through this in a different video. And the other thing you can see here is when it's going to be delivered. And this is where Amazon FBA comes into play. And you, you want to use Amazon FBA because I, I, if you have a look at all of these products on the first page, they all got Prime underneath them. Yeah. Many years ago, 10, 12 years ago, you know, hardly any of them would have Prime. Now, if you don't have Prime, you're not likely to sell much. Okay, so let's, let's have a look at this product. As we mentioned earlier, picture, very important. The first picture has to be with a white background. Um, you want it to stand out and show off your product as much as you can. And then you've got secondary images. Make sure you use as many secondary images as you can because these are the things that will show your product's features. Yeah, like we can see, oh, this case is tough. If I drop it, I won't break. Oh, this case, you know, it's got nice buttons and it's got this thing around, you know, the camera that's going to protect my phone, stop it from getting scratched. Um, it's got a lanyard hole, it's got a raised bevel so it won't damage my screen. Yeah. And here it says, oh, it's compatible with this particular iPhone. Yeah. So it gives me all these features without me having to, yeah, here I can see that it will look the same or different colors of the iPhone 11. Yeah. 
and here it makes me think that it's a casual case. Yeah, so it gives me all these features without me having to read about it. Yeah? And as human beings, we're all lazy. We don't really like to read that much. We'd rather just have a look at the picture. And the quicker you get your customer to click on buy, the better you want to use this opportunity as much as you can with the images and, and advertise your product features. Um, the other thing you'll get here is these five feature bullet points. This is a standard thing that every listing has to have. And you'll have to fill these in when you're creating your listing. These, again, it's an opportunity for you to um, outline your main product features and you want them to stand out. Like, oh, it's comfortable to use Siri and Face ID. And it secures your device. It's got Lanyard. So you outline here things that customers might have questions about. Another important thing, and it's another, uh, another advanced tip for you, the Amazon search engine will also look for keywords inside these um, features. So it's important to utilize them. You can also have the same product in different colors. For example, this product here, we've got, we've got it in different colors. We've got it in purple, green, and black. Yeah? And you can put it all under the same, same listing in a, in a color variation. You can also have promotions. So for example, this product has got eight different promotions here. 20% save 20% when you buy two screen protectors. So you, you can you can create all sorts of promotions for your product inside Amazon Sell Essential to make it more attractive for people to buy. You can make bulk promotion offers. So you can say that, okay, if you buy five of these, I'll get you them at discount rate. So you, you buy one for 5.99 or you can buy five for 15 pounds. And then it straight away makes it, makes it more attractive for the buyer because if you have purchased this, like we looked at earlier, if you purchase this product at, you know, uh, 30p and you, you purchase 1,000 of them and you ship ship them here, it will cost you around 500 pounds in total in shipping and all kinds of fees. Then if you sell these 1,000 pieces at 599, you'll be getting 6,000 pounds out of it. Minus your investment, you know, it's five and a half minus some other fees. Okay, let's say 3,000 pounds. Yeah. So you, you can then, you can use these promotions and cut your profit a little bit, but get people to buy more. The more people buy them, the higher your product will rank. The, the, the more product reviews that you have, the more high product reviews or five-star product reviews you have, the, the higher your product will rank in the search results. And you want your product at the top of the search results. So let's scroll down here. I'll show you another cool thing about the listing. So here you can see under product details, you can see the Amazon bestseller rank. Here you can keep an eye on how well your product is doing. So let's say you've just started selling, your product might be, you know, 1,000 or 15,000 in the, you know, bestsellers. And you want to advertise it and promote it to make sure that it, it goes higher up in the rankings and it gets to like, you know, number five or number one, yeah? Then lower down, we've got here product description. Now, if you don't have a brand registered with Amazon, you will not have access to this feature where you can add extra pictures and make it look really nice. So here you can see, you can pro cross promote your products. You can say, I've got all these other products which are in the same line. So let's say you're selling phone cases and phone cables and screen protectors. You can outline them all here. And when your customers clicked on one, they'll say, oh, you know what? I forgot I want to buy cable as well. Um, you can put more images here. As I said, people tend to look at images more than text. So you can put short phrases or short sentences with a lot of images um, and advertise it that way. And, and then lower down here, you'll have your product reviews. Now, these are very important. You want to keep them at five star or four star as much as you can. You want to avoid getting anything three star or under. If you've got three star or under product reviews, your product list, your, your listing is going to go lower in the ranks and eventually it will disappear. So you want to keep an eye on this. So for example, here, these guys had something not what I thought it would be and you can read about why. And if you're looking at other people's products, this is a great way for you to research and find what kind of product you want to sell. But I'm going to go into that in more detail later on. That's a bit of an advanced tip there. Um, so that's, that's pretty much it on, on product and product listing. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed these videos that I recorded. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. 
um, please enable bell notifications and subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss out on any new content and I'll see you guys soon.